Hey guys, Kurt Chan, Technical Advantage at Autodesk, and today I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks in regards to defeaturing fillets on an imported body. So let's go ahead and dive right in. If you don't know already, you can actually select features on an imported body, let's say this fillet, and hit the delete key and it would just defeature it. You see I have my timeline turned off and I can now, we call this direct editing, to just work with geometry that doesn't have a, any history at all. I can even take the same approach on the back side. So if you look at it here, um, if I maybe want to pick up this entire chain of fillets, go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer, is I can either one, control select or command select each one of these, but what I did is I like to work with selection sets. And that actually allows me to go through and pick a group of items or features, group them together, and it allows me to come back and grab them really quickly. So I just set that up, pick up that entire chain, hit delete, and that one goes away as well. And I can always grab this, this fillet as well and hit delete, and there we go. Let's even take a look at further down here, and you can see I have these fatter fillets and then even the smaller fillets. So I'm gonna do is just click on that outside edge and hit delete. And I actually now get an error. If I even take the same approach with the bigger fillets first, maybe, select that up using my selection set, hit delete, and I still get an error. So well, let's take a dive in a little bit further. If we actually look at the front side of this, you see how there's kind of like a weird blend that goes on. So I like to call this the sphere trick. And it was introduced to me by one of my colleagues, Brad Tallis, who does some awesome stuff with direct editing, so look out for some of his videos. But it's actually really cool. So what I'm gonna do is, I love working with the three-point plane. I'm just gonna create a plane at these three points. And then now, with my handy S key, access the sphere command and put a sphere right on that edge right there and kind of remove that blend together. Now, I'm, I have the same issue on the other side, so what I'm going to do is just use the handy mirror command, using my S key again, and what's the job geometry I want to mirror is just that guy here, and then the plane I want to be along is going to be along the XY. Right click, say OK, and then there we have the sphere mirrored on the opposite side. So let's kind of go back around and take a look and see if we can now start defeaturing some of these fillets. Pick that guy, hit delete, we'll get rid of now that edge fillet, and then two, now I can actually pick up this guy, this one, and then you rotate around, and let's get this back end. And then, even two, if we look at it here, I probably can even select the sphere as well as this one, and hit the delete key, and now it's defeatured and got rid of that fillet that goes all the way around, as well as the spheres, and now I have this entire part defeatured with off with all the fillets and all the rounds gone. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, and thanks again guys.